Dozens of golfers were holed up in that pro shop the whole time at Keaton Park Golf Course near Jim Miller and Bur Bruton Road. The youngest one is only 14 years old, and tonight she's giving Sydney Percy new insight on how it all went down. What happened here today was draining for responding officers, of course, but also for the dozens of golfers who came to this course expecting a good game. But instead, they spent hours huddled inside a clubhouse hiding from a guy with a gun. While dozens of officers drew their guns, threw tear gas and smoke grenades at an armed and dangerous suspect, 14-year-old Maddie West hid in a golf course clubhouse a few hundred yards away. It's just crazy to be there and know that there's an active shooter right next to you on the same course as you. You don't think this happens. But it definitely did. That suspect is 31-year-old Kevin Knowles. Police say they pursued him after noticing his car had stolen plates. Then he crashed, ran through the woods, and hid inside a culvert in front of Keaton Golf Course. The SWAT standoff lasted six hours hours. A whole bunch of cop cars. There was a helicopter above us. Police will only confirm Knowles fired shots. They will not say who or what he shot at, but inside that clubhouse. We heard the story from the guy who was actually shot at. A guy told golfers Knowles fired at him and tried to take his golf cart. The shooter tried to shoot at him, missed like five feet away from him, and uh, the golfer proceeded to throw his club at him, but he also missed. Maddie told me 81 people were stuck inside the clubhouse for all six hours while the standoff unfolded. I guess everyone was pretty annoyed. <laughs> no offense to the cops, but I don't get to finish my bucket of balls. I just wasted my money on balls and I don't get to finish them. Jokes aside, Maddie is thankful. She'll get another shot at the range tomorrow because she and everyone else went home safe. Police sent a robot into that culvert, fired more tear gas, and finally took Knowles into custody. Something definitely bad could have happened, and I'm grateful that no one was hurt. Sources tell WFAA Knowles was out on federal probation for unlawful possession of a firearm. In Dallas, I'm Sydney Persing.